Hello everyone, here is a question from exercise 12.3, 6 question, chapter is ration proportion of class 6. The question is, Saina pays rupees 7500 as a rent for 3 months. How much does she has to pay for a whole year if the rent per month remains same? So here in the question they have given that, Saina has, she is paying rent for 3 months and the cost is 7500. And they are asking how much she has to pay for the whole year, that is for 12 months, how much amount she has to pay. Here we know only for 3 months. If we know for 1 month, we can able to find out for the 12 months, like we have to just multiply with 12. But how to multiply, how to find out for the 1 month? So in the question, it is given that rupees 7500, like she is paying rupees 7500 for 3 months, right? So this is an easy way to understand which number to multiply, which number to divide. Here we have to find out for the month, right? So send this 3 to other side. You have learned the unit, you have learned the transpose method. So transpose a number, it goes to division. So 7500 divided by 3 will be equal to month, which means 1 month. So 1 month she has to pay 7500 divided by 3. Divide the number and whatever answer we got, that much amount she is paying for 1 month. So here I am just trying to show you that, which how to get the, for, how to get the answer for 1 month here. So just equate them and since we want to find out for the month, whatever number you have here, send this to the other side. So in this way, you can able to understand which number we have to divide with what number. Now let's frame the question. We are going to just give the statements and solve this further. So it's given in the question. So rent paid in 3 months is equal to rupees 7500 yes so rent in one month will be rent for one month will be equal to 15 okay it's 7500 divided by 3 which will be 1500 so how i got this you can divide the number you can cancel the number i'm going to do a division here if you want to cancel you can cancel this so 3 2s are 6, 1 is a remainder, so we got 5 here, then 3, 5s are 15, we will get 0, so drop the 0 here, then 3, 0s are 0, we got 0 again, drop the next 0, so we will get 3, 0s are 0. You can do division or you can go with cancellation. So, answer is 2500. It is not 1500, I am sorry, it is 2500. So, rupees 2500 she is paying for rent for one month. Now, we have to find out for the 10, for the 12 months. So, therefore, rent for whole year, whole year means it is 12 months. So, rent for whole year or we can say 12 months will be equal to since there are 12 months in a year, we have to multiply this with 12. So, rupees 2500 multiplied by 12. So, we are going to multiply these two numbers, 25 and 12. So, 25, just do not multiply the zeros, just multiply 12 and uh, 25. So, 2 5s are 10, 2 2s are 4 plus 1 is carry, so 5 will get. And then 1 into 25 is 25. So, it is 0, then 10. 3. So, it is 3 double 0. Remember, we have a 2 zeros left here. I have not written that because we can just put the zeros at the end. So, this two, 2 zeros are included, which means she is paying 30,000 as a rent for the whole year. That is for the 12 months. That is it. So, I hope this question is clear how to find out. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.